Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brittany Janae and I am a filmmaker. Today, we're going to talk about why I left BuzzFeed to go full freelancing and the four things that I have learned thus far. Happy Motivational Monday. Let's get started. Okay, so before we actually get started, if you are new to my page and you are not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out a lot of my other videos. So anyways, besides all that, I love BuzzFeed to go full freelance. I've been freelance for the last three weeks and there are four things that I've already learned that I kind of just want to share with someone who may be transitioning into freelance or thinking about going full freelance. But when it comes to BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed was a great job it, it really was it was a it was a good space for me to be in i was a freelance editor there for about seven months i actually loved my team it was bittersweet leaving uh the place there was just amazing it was just this space of creativity it was definitely a learning experience and a place where you can actually learn and grow especially for people that are just now coming out of college and like this is their first job it's a great place to start and then just being in a facility with other like-minded people around your age was just great you could probably see me in a couple of videos uh, from the team that I was on but it was just it was really really cool and it was not a goodbye it was a just see you later um, because the real reason why I went freelance had nothing to do with BuzzFeed it was because I've been wanting to go freelance for a very very long time this has just been a dream of me and my business partners to just go for freelance and create our, our production company um, we are a one-stop shop we do makeup photography video creative direction all of that and so our goal when we moved to California was to eventually work for ourselves so it's not like something that just happened all of a sudden this has been something that we've been leading up to in our lives um, and so the transition to go full freelance was pretty pretty smooth for me um, because I do feel like I waited for the right time I do feel like I because I had wanted to go freelance like last year and I was like two seconds away from saying on my last job before BuzzFeed you know what I quit I'm about to just go for a freelance but I'm so glad that I waited on God's confirmation because I feel like the transition would not have been as smooth as, as it has been and I really thank God for that because I've heard all the the goods and the bads of going for freelancing and uh, I'm not saying it's always easy I'm not saying I don't get scared but it's definitely way more of a smoother transition than I thought it was going to be. And so I want to give you guys four things that I feel like I've learned going full freelance. The first thing that I learned going full freelance was discipline. Discipline to me was the number one thing that I kind of had to learn because you now have this schedule that is completely open for anything. You don't have set hours, you don't have set days, you don't have to be anywhere at any particular time. And so that was really hard for me because the first week I basically like chilled. I think it was okay having that first week to just relax and then get back to it. But discipline was the number one thing for me because I did have to create a schedule. I did have to set weekly goals. I did have to set daily goals. I did have to just make sure that I was, I was a good steward of my time and make sure that I was taking care of the things that I needed to take care of when I said that I was going to take care of them and making sure I was I stayed on schedule on my schedule that I created for myself sometimes you can get complacent as a freelancer and so making sure that you always are pushing and always are going and always are setting goals for yourself discipline was definitely number one for me the second thing that I learned was organization Yes, I think it came around tax time when I learned that organization was important and I had even fully went freelance but I was just getting a piece of it even then when I had to fill out taxes because last year I did do a lot of freelance work and so working a 9 to 5 and still doing freelance work it was tax time was just very like ugh. I just really that was kind of like a foreshadow to what I was going to have to deal with as a freelancer so organization was important to me one thing that has been helping me out is QuickBooks for self-employment because I can send all my invoices to everyone and they'll get it straight to their email it can tell you if they paid or not and that has helped me because at first I didn't have a place where I can actually put all my invoices I just put them on my computer but now I have a place where wherever I can go I can use my phone to look at you know my QuickBooks, I can use a computer. QuickBooks is also a good tool because it helps you kind of like see your budget. It helps you see what you've been spending. 
and also because I am freelance I track a lot of things so I track my gas mileage when I go to work I track how much I spend and you can basically put in different categories what's for business and what's not for business and so when tax time do come or you need to figure out where your money's been going you have this directory that's been helping you out along the way so I definitely had to learn organization making sure I look at emails making sure I fill out emails at an orderly time and like things like that and just staying organized as much as I can and another thing with organization is this there's a difference of being a freelancer and being a, a entrepreneur and so I want to become an entrepreneur I want my business to be long-standing and so for me organization is important because that's where the business side of things come in freelancing sometimes is more of the the work and then being an entrepreneur being a business minded want being a business person it's, it's just business and so for me business was very important learning how to do the invoices learning how to set up appointments do consultations making sure my eyes are dotted and my t's are crossed when it came to the business aspect because that is what's gonna make this freelance job a actual an actual business and so for me it was so much more than shooting or working on client work or editing or finding clients it was really making sure that I got the business aspect right that's super important you have to go from just being a freelancer to being an entrepreneur and so that is my goal as I start this journey of being more of an entrepreneur and not just a freelancer the third thing is to create a budget yes you are not going to get as much consistent work as you did when you were working a nine to five job and so you have to create a budget off tops and I'm, I was doing this before I even went for freelance but it's definitely something that's way more like you really really need to know as a freelancer so you have to create a budget for yourself you don't like for me my line of work is very inconsistent I do have some consistent clients but it's like once a month type of thing and so I have to make sure that I'm creating this budget to get me through bills still have to get paid rent still is due and so I'm making sure that if I don't get another job in two weeks or if I get one job one week and then I don't get another job the next week that I am still able to live and that I'm not struggling and so I had to create a budget there might be a time where for a whole month I might not get a job and so I'm trying to be prepared for that was most important for me so make sure you create a budget um, I started going grocery shopping I started cooking in the house not going out to eat as much and really just being a good steward over my money so that's the third thing that I learned was creating a budget another thing was that I probably should have put first was sacrifice you have to sacrifice and this is for the people who are thinking about going freelance um, before you even go freelance sacrifice is so important because all last year I sacrificed and sometimes it doesn't have to be sacrificing when it comes to financial like investing your money no I sacrificed every weekend that I had all last year so when I was working on nine to five last year I was still working weekends so I basically was working seven days a week 24 hours because Anytime I got done doing my 9 to 5, I would make sure that I focused on Lorraine Janae, which is the company that me and my business partner have. And because I'm putting all this energy into this 9 to 5 working for someone else, but I still had to make sure that I put the same energy and the same amount of time, if not more, into the company that we're trying to build. And so I sacrificed my Saturday and Sunday because I worked 9 to 5 to make sure that we're shooting, to make sure that, you know, we're getting paperwork done, we're connecting, we're networking, we're meeting with clients, all of that. So it's going to be a point in your life where you have to sacrifice something. And I think that's why I was in such a good position going into this smooth transition because I've sacrificed all of my last year to meet people, to network, to sometimes do some things for free, to build my portfolio. And then when it was time, I had those clients coming back who are now my official clients. And so I spent the whole year doing the hard work up front and now I'm seeing it all come back to me. Thank God. But you definitely have to sacrifice, whether it's your time, whether it's your money, no matter what it is, you have to sacrifice something at some point of time. And the last thing that I learned is do not forget to explore. Or if you're not a photographer or a videographer, don't forget to do what you love. Don't forget to create for yourself. When I was going freelance, I was doing so much client work because I wanted to make sure that I was going to have enough to be able to live that I didn't do any creative work for myself. I did work for my clients and that's one thing that 
if you're going to be doing this, you have to love what you do. That's the reason why you work for yourself, because you want to do the things that you feel like your purpose is and what you've been called to do. You want to do that for yourself. And so you have to make sure that you set out the time to do those things that you love to do for yourself. It's not always about doing client work. Yes, you need to do client work because that's how you're going to get paid. However, make sure you set out time to just grow within yourself, create for yourself, practice for yourself. And that's one thing that I had to do because I love what I do. So I can sit at my computer all day and work on client work and make sure it's the best that it can be. But I have to make sure, and that's why I was so happy when I went freelance, I was like, oh my God, now I can do more YouTube videos. I can show people the fun side and the things that I like to do. And so like most of my client work has came from work that I've done for myself. They saw the things that I did for myself and just shooting for myself and booked me from that before I started working with like the people that I work with now. And so if I would have never created for myself, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at. And so you got to create for yourself. Point blank period. You have to go out and explore who you are as a creative individual. It doesn't matter if you're doing photography, video, makeup, graphic design, it does not matter. You have to create for yourself. Explore your creativity. Grow in your creativity. You now have more time to learn things that you couldn't learn when you were working a nine to five for somebody else because you just didn't have the time. Now you have all the time in the world to just learn about yourself, grow in your craft, and just create. So do not forget to explore. Explore who you are and your purpose. That is the biggest thing. God gave you this purpose for a reason. He gave you this gift for a reason. Make sure you use it. And so, yes, those are my four things that I've learned within the three weeks that I've been freelancing. And the one last thing that I can give you as a takeaway is that do not rush this process. It has been, I've been here for almost six years and I'm just now full freelance and it's only been three weeks. Do not rush this process. God will tell you when it's time. Wait on God. I wanted to go freelance last year and I feel like my transition would not have been as smooth if I just took it upon myself and went freelance last year. I felt like I needed to be at every job that God placed me at, whether it was the job that I wanted to be at or not, because I needed to learn certain life lessons within every single job that I was at to get me to where I'm at now. There are things that I learned at every job that has helped me as a freelancer. And you don't want to miss those life lessons that God is trying to give you. And so don't jump the gun. Really wait and be in tune with God and wait on the time where God is telling you, okay, it is time. I promise you, I promise you, everything that you had to go through thus far will be worth it. And you will be like, oh, that's why I had to go here. That's why I had to work here. That's why I had to do all this. Like, I could, like, I'm telling you, if you know my journey, it was not easy. Like, it wasn't. And, like, that's why I think I'm such a hard worker because I really had to work my tail off to get to where I'm at. And I'm not even where I want to be. I'm only three weeks in for freelancing. Me and Erica got so much stuff that we got to do. Like, we have so much stuff coming it's crazy and i'm just excited and so just know that your time is coming this is not a race take your time soak in everything that is coming your way soak in everything that you're supposed to learn because you'll be better in the long run so i just want to thank you guys for watching i hope that you got something from this i hope this helped you um, it definitely helped me. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment below, tell me what you think about this, if it helped you at all. I hope you guys do subscribe, I hope you love this video, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you, bye.